Welcome to I Love Stocks, and what a great exciting run that the EV car sector has had. And as you all know, I've been bullish on this sector for a very long time, and especially back, uh, back during July when I opened up and I said, hey, we're going to have a great 2021 in the EV cars. And that's been on the top of my list next to the marijuana sector. So first three stocks I'm going to talk about today that I'm going to be bullish on, and I'm going to be long in swings is going to be FSR, QS, and CCIV. And I will uh, take my money on the spikes and play the pullbacks. I'm pretty good about that. And I'll have, probably have a couple long positions into 2022. So let's go ahead and get into FSR. I really like this company. I'm liking it a lot more the more I learn about it. And the more, especially when they can bring the prices down to a reasonable rate and have a good quality car with uh, you know with a probably a little bit more quality than other cars that are out there but I've noticed that everybody's trying to compete into the better quality into the higher end of the EV car market and I think that's a good idea <clears throat> so we've got Ocean that's going to be the one they've got out now then I heard they were going to put out a new one by the end of the year and this is FSR let's go straight to the chart I've got three stocks, like I said, I'm going to be talking about FSR, QS, and CCIV. So we'll get this one here in the reins. FSR, I've got a support channel down here between 1731 and 18, 1784 with a strong pivot point right here at 1762 for a strong buy. It needs to hold this support level of 1872, if not... We could see a nice little sharp little bitty knife at open down here or even a breakout at open. It, it don't matter. I think if I do see that 1784, I'm going to definitely dive into the trade. And I'm going to set me an alert right now on that stock. And where am I here? Nope, that ain't what I wanted. I want this. And we're going to set it at the ask. A little bit below. And then I'm going to hit my create. And then I got my alert set. And that fact, I think I'll bring this up just a little bit. Replace it with a little higher one just in case it does pull back and I can hit that $18. So the resistance to break is going to be $19.66 with a target of $27 on FSR. So the next one I want to talk about is going to be QS. I think the momentum is definitely behind this. It's a little had a real, real big run for need to rest a little bit that's why i'm expecting it to pull back some and then try to retrace and hit that double top the next one we're going to talk about is going to be qs I'll type it in i'll go straight to the website i really like this website uh the future they say is solid for the Electric vehicles, you know, General Motors is talking about coming out by the, having by 2035 and having their fleet all EV cars by then. I think they're a little late to the ride. You know, they came out with that Volt and that, that wasn't worth much. And I think that was just like a junk car. But I think now that we have a lot more technology and, and the technology will get better and better year by year. With the leader of the pack, as we all know, is Tesla. I've been a bull on Tesla for over 10 years, and now I'm going to start being a little bit bullish on some of these other car companies that are going to be merging and going to be coming up with new battery packs and just new ideas and self-driving cars. I mean, it just sounds crazy. Cars that I think will fly into the air eventually from one spot straight up and then move on, kind of like the Jetsons, or we could call it the Jet Set. That's what I would probably say, but... We got QS here, and we're going to go ahead and look at the chart right now. I really like this one. I got a target on this one here with uh, Morgan Stanley to $70. I agree with them. This is, was way, had a real nice run about three months ago, two and a half months ago, when she ran up to 132.73. A very nice bullish run all the way up to that level of 132.73. And then she's had the major pullback, and she's had a double bottom consolidation right down here right around the $42 area so we're up from that we had a big gap up on Friday I think we can pull back to a support level 
and I'm going to draw this support level here at the red line. I want to put that in there for now because I see it. This spot right in here where that candle is. That's going to be like my little support area, but I want to try to beat it. Maybe set an alert here at 5184 for a strong buy. So let's go back to the 20 day. See if there's anything that I missed on this chart. Definitely like this support level, this previous high that we had right here at 50.15 for a very strong buy. So you can set your alert where I did here at 51.84. Maybe she'll pull back to that first support area and then retrace back up, break resistance at 55.77. Remember, I've got a target on this to $70. I hardly ever hit them targets. I like to get out a little bit sooner. So we've got the first support. And this channel is going to be right here at 53.61. If that holds, I'll take the trade. If not, I'll definitely get down in here right around the 51.84. Now, in the option land, I'm going to be looking at, at right around this $55 strike. If I can get that thing to pull back and this stock to drop to right around $800, this target, I might jump right into that 55 strike at around 8 bucks. And that's going to be QS. And I'm going to show you the option trade that I'm going to be doing on FSR. FSR. Kind of skip past that. I got a March 20th strike right at $20. If I can get down into this one here on the pullback right around $240 or maybe $230, two bucks, I'm going to take this $20 strike and ride it into March 19th and hold it long until I hit my target of $27 and then I might exit the trade. The next stock we're going to be looking at is going to be CCIV. I really like this company too a lot. It's got a nice little website. You can find all the information you need on the website here. You've got the investors. Uh, no, let's just say you can find the SEC filings, corporate governance events, presentations. They've got the news here. You can find out what's going on in the news. Uh, you know, it's a real nice website. I think that's what helps build the car company also. So CCIV, I like trading this company right now, and we're going to look at the chart. CCIV. I got a target on this one too. Long, $50. I think we can hit that four, or excuse me, that ain't the right chart. That's what happens when you take your eye off the ball. I got a target on this definitely to break 50 bucks. We did best bust past that $40 and on my target on CCIV is going to be $50. And the support level right now is going to be this 3526 where we had the triple top breakout and that's going to be your solid support. So if I can get in this trade around 3526, that'll be ideal. But I'm going to raise that up just a little bit here to 3647. I'm going to set my alert I'm going to try to get in it at that level if I can. But I'm very bullish on this one. i got a target, like I said, to $50. I think she can pull. We are setting up for a breakout. Don't take me wrong. And I think we can break this double top high here at 42.34 area. If we can break that, we're going to move on up and take it in dollar increments. But the bulls are definitely in charge of CCIV. There's a lot of people watching this trade. Uh... I think a lot of people are watching this trade, and I think that there's a lot of bulls behind it with just a very few bears. We're going to take this to, to every bit of $50, and that's going to be CCIV. Well, that's it for the market report. Please subscribe, hit that like button, and ring that bell for future updates. And always remember, Miss Vegas is posting her alerts in here with I Love Stocks in our uh, Twitter account. We like to hit you, see you hit that follow button and build these numbers up. And she's always posting good alerts in here. And feel free to, to follow that. Also on our website, we have our stock twit links. And you can follow us on here. I'm posting alerts in here. I do a two-hour session every Saturday or Sunday, mostly on Saturdays. This is Miss Vegas' channel. Please hit that follow button on hers too. It would be well appreciated. She's wishing everybody a happy Valentine's Day.
that's for sure. So that's I Love Stocks. We'll see you tomorrow. Remember, I got three stocks that I definitely will be watching. FSR for a $27 target, QS for a $70, and CCIV for a $50 target. I love stocks.